All right, let's talk about uh, uh, Kansas City Chiefs linebacker Jovan Belcher. It is now being revealed that after the weekend news that he killed his girlfriend and then killed himself in front of uh, a team, coaches, and staff, that Belcher had been struggling with head injuries. He had been struggling struggling with alcohol and painkiller use. And he appears to have snapped, as it's being discussed in the media, and killed his girlfriend. Um, there, were, there were a number of things being thrown around now. Immediately, th there was not much known about what was the back. Is, was there any backstory here, any warning signs? Now, probably not surprisingly, we're hearing about the alcohol and painkiller use. But we're also talking about the head injury situation, which initially the team said that he was a player who had not had a long concussion history, although there are now other indications that he may not have had concussions per se, but as we know with, as we've talked extensively on this program, these persistent hits which cause not an, a, an acute concussion, but this long-term effect on the brain. Right, and it, uh, it adds up over time, and it's, it's just as bad as a concussion here and there. Cops revealed that Belcher shot his girlfriend nine times before committing suicide with a different gun, so multiple guns involved. His mother witnessed the slaying. She had been in town to help her daughter with the new baby, sources have said. And uh, this is just an incredibly disturbing story, particularly disturbing because all of the reports are that Belcher was sitting there having conversations with people at the team practice facility, thanking people, saying all sorts of stuff, and then he just walked away and, and killed himself. Yeah, he was thanking his head coach and uh, the other coaches that were there for everything that they'd done for him um, before walking away and killing himself. I guess they tried to, to talk some sense into him, but uh, there was no doing that. And then Bob Costas on N NBC, he is being accused by some of, of taking this as an opportunity to go on a gun control rant. And I reviewed the video and I'll play the video and the audio for you here. Now, I have to give you just my immediate reaction is exactly what I, upon further research, still believe about this. I don't think Bob Costas is going on a gun control rant here. He just is, is quoting an article that was written by someone else. Yes. Let's take a right. listen to what Bob Costas said on national TV about this incident. Actual perspective on this? Well, a bit of it comes from the Kansas City-based writer Jason Whitlock, with whom I do not always agree, but who today said it so well that we may as well just quote or paraphrase from the end of his article. Our current gun culture, Whitlock wrote, ensures that more and more domestic disputes will end in the ultimate tragedy and that more convenience store confrontations over loud music coming from a car will leave more teenage boys bloodied and dead. Handguns do not enhance our safety. They exacerbate our flaws, tempt us to escalate arguments, and bait us into embracing confrontation rather than avoiding it. So he went on and read a little bit more from, from that article. But to call this Bob Costas on a gun control rant seems absurd. He is saying that he agrees with this, uh, but I, I think it's a weird characterization. And let's be completely honest, ladies and gentlemen. Second Amendment arguments aside and the minutia of stand your ground aside, how can anyone deny that if Jovan Belcher had owned less or no guns, it's unlikely that this particular fight would have led to the death of two people. Certainly, he could have found a way to kill himself if, that, if that's what he wanted. And arguably, he could have strangled his girlfriend to death. As but many guns, will. guns make everything easier. But guns do make it easier. It's a, it's a question of firing a shot. In this case, he fired nine shots. We don't know how many it took to actually uh, kill his girlfriend. Uh, 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 but Bob Costas is merely saying very, very basic fundamental things here that, that are just logical. Yeah, anyway, I, I'm fine with it, and I agree with it. Absolutely. Yeah.